So we're going to switch gears now. In your skills book, this is going to be on what I'm going to talk to you about first is on page 83. So if you wanted to turn in your book. But I want to talk to you a little bit about warm, dark, moist. We learned this on the very first day. If you remember when we went over uh, hand washing, I told you that there's three things that uh, pathogens or viruses, bacteria, and yeast need to survive in a setting, and that's warm, dark, moist. Not all pathogens thrive in those environments. There are some pathogens that live quite well in cold environments, but for the most part, the general um, range of pathogens that we deal with in medicine tend to thrive in warm, dark, moist places. So we should always be on the lookout for any environment that's warm, dark, and moist. Well, between the toes fits that criteria very well. It's warm because of body heat. It's dark because we usually have socks on and because it's between the toes, they're crevices. And it's often moist because of sweating. Now, if we put lotion between the toes, that's gonna hold that moisture in place. And it really allows the patient to develop things like athlete's foot, you know, fungal infections, um, bacterial infections. So when we're doing foot care, we don't wanna put lotion in between the toes because we already have warm, dark, moist in place. And by putting lotion there, it's just gonna trap that moisture and keep it from evaporating. So when we're doing foot care, when we did hand and nail care, if you remember that last week, we put lotion all over the hand, no problem. But that's because our hands are out in the open. And you know our fingers, they spread apart pretty easily. It's not like that with toes. Toes are usually pretty squished together and they don't move a whole lot on their own. So hands and feet really are two very different things when it comes to hand care and foot care. So with hand and nail care, you'll lotion the whole surface of the hand. But with foot care, we're only going to lotion the areas, um, the top of the foot, the bottom of the foot, especially around the heel area, because that tends to be pretty dry. But we're not going to lotion between the toes, just so we don't get that um, moisture uh, trapped in that area.